Uh, so why do you reject Catholic morality? That is the question. We go now to Doug in Michigan, listening on 990 AM. Doug, why do you reject Catholic morality? Well, first, thanks for taking the call. It's not so much that I reject the morality. as I have a question about how the Church um, approaches uh, capital punishment. We seem to be very um, vocal when it comes to assisted suicide or abortion, but... Uh, Am I missing the conversation, the dialogue on how we view negatively the capital punishment or, or what the right moral teaching is on capital punishment? Sure. What I would say is that when people get the impression that the Church is not as strong, quote-unquote, on capital punishment, I would say that's because capital punishment is not intrinsically wrong. Uh, it's not something that is wrong in and of itself, like abortion and euthanasia. It's always wrong to directly kill a baby who's growing in the womb. Uh, it's always wrong to directly kill someone uh, who is in the process of dying uh, just so that they can die. Now, it's okay to discontinue life support if a person is near the end of life and that's not helping them, but you can't just simply inject someone with poison to end their life because they're in pain, or you, you just can't directly kill a baby in the womb. You can't directly kill innocent people in that way. However, it's not intrinsically wrong for the state to use its authority to protect society by ending the life of someone who has committed a very serious crime like murder. Uh, so the church has supported capital punishment in the past, and the catechism says there may be cases where capital punishment is acceptable today. Though the catechism and people like Pope St. John Paul II have offered prudential judgments about moving away from capital punishment— uh, it's not intrinsically wrong, and there's other theologians who've put forward very strong cases that capital punishment can be used morally uh, by the church and actually should be promoted. A good book on that that's just come out is called By Man Shall His Blood Be Shed, A Catholic Defense of Capital Punishment by Edward Fazer and Joseph Bissett. So if you'd like to look at a, a great treatment of the issue from that perspective, By Man Shall His Blood Be Shed by Ignatius Press, uh, the authors are Fazer and Bissett. I think you'd find that to be very helpful. So thank you very much for calling in.